Yes. LC Scotio says Dune Premiere 4K, Homatics Box, and Box R, and Boxy are partial audio pass through. What does this mean? What yeah, tell mean? us what that means, Scotio. I like Scotio. Scotio's he's the homie. Hope hope your foot's getting better, by the way. Yeah. Apparently, uh, Amazon is aware of audio pass through. I'm looking it up. What's what's par- partial audio pass through? I don't know. Ask the uh, AI. <laughs> Let me see if this AI will know. Let's see. Uh, let me try one. Joe will be a croc addict. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> he already is, I think. <laughs> Hello. What is partial audio pass through? Partial audio pass-through refers to a method of transmitting or routing audio signals in which only a portion of the audio is allowed to pass through while other portions are blocked or modified. This technique is often used in audio processing systems or devices that aim to selectively alter or manipulate certain frequencies, channels, or components of the audio signal while leaving the rest unaltered. It allows for targeted modifications or enhancements Mm -hmm. without affecting the entire audio signal. How about regarding true HD or DTS master files. Regarding true HD or DTS master files, partial audio pass through refers to a scenario where a device or system is capable of passing through the core audio stream of a true HD or DTS master file without decoding or altering the high definition Mm -hmm. audio components. Mm -hmm. In other words, the device allows the unadulterated lossless audio signal to pass through without any modifications, enhancements, or down mixing. Okay, that's enough for that. Goodbye. Goodbye. Um, so I don't know if that's correct. I don't know. That sounded like full pass through that last thing that was yeah. described there. Um, <laughs> oh, I, I see. So I do know that a lot of times, like they can pass through, like, you know, there's true HD. That's just 7.1. Yeah. That's, that's lossless, you know, mm-hmm. true HD, but true HD with Atmos is a different thing. So maybe the maybe they're saying that you can't pass through the Atmos True HD. I've seen that happen. Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It seems pretty odd if it's bit if it's digital if it's bitstream when they just send out the signal bitstream because the none of these players are decoding Atmos. None of these players are decoding DTS. It's, that's, mm, that's, mm, that's, mm, that's all happening, right? It's as long as it's uh, bitstream. It's just like the Blu-ray players. The Blu-ray players aren't at most capable. If you play an at most track on a Blu-ray player and send it out bitstream, it says true H. It says Dolby True HD on the Blu-ray player, but it says at most on the receiver because the Dolby True HD is delivering the at most. Some of these have Dolby Matte support, though. What's Matte? Dolby Matt well, is that Matt, like a sound Matt? M A T, where like um, like like Apple TV. Okay. When you play uh Dolby Atmos on Apple TV, it will um, I'm not sure if it's for Dolby Digital Plus or or just True HD, but I think when I yeah I think when I connected it to my Denon, mm-hmm. it just shows multi-channel in you know it's just sending the PCM mm-hmm. signal because mm-hmm. all of it is happening in the Apple TV itself. Right. So. I, I'm like, why can't I use Oro 3D on this thing when I use the Apple TV? Yeah. It's because it was already sending PCM. And so what I needed to do was I needed to turn off Atmos on the Apple TV. So it was sending just a 7.1, and then I could upmix it. So, yeah, Dolby Matte is a way for them to uh, do all of the uh, mm. decoding in the box itself. And Scott I think says... Can do that. Scottio says he's going through the specs and he thinks it's the chipset limitation, but I think they use those Realtek 19 something or others. Like it says it on the Dune box. And I looked at the uh, chipset for the Zidu and I, I don't know what the chips mean, but is the higher number, the newer, or faster, better one? Because the higher, oh. newer, faster, better one, I think. Or, or it's the same one that's in the Zidu. So is, then is the Zidu also not here? Yeah. Realtek RTD 1619DR. Uh, that's what that's what's on the Dune HD that I have. Should I get the box? It's upstairs. Oh, hold on a second. So I, wait, I shot a video. Where does it go? 
I mean, we can probably just pull up the Amazon page too. I have the Amazon for this particular one up, and in HD, real vision, 4K. They're real tricky about this. Stuff yeah, though, RTD sixteen nineteen RD, bro. DR RD. What's RD or DR? Which uh, whoa, my my, just all fucked up. Yeah, RTD sixteen nineteen. Isn't that the same thing? It will do pull full. Then it should do full if it's this RTD thing. Ah, find RTD. RTD 1619DR. Yeah. This is the um, Dolby Matte, is Dolby Matrix. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You, you, might, technology. you might have to approve that with Keanu. <laughs> Why does uh, I'm trying to find this information yeah. on this. It's, they're really tricky, though. A lot of times it's really tricky because it'll say, yeah, it does Dolby Atmos. Yeah, the Dolby Digital Plus version. The lossy version. Yeah. Oh, it and then it they'll say, oh, yeah, it also supports true HD. Yeah, it'll do that. But it won't do both. Some of them won't do both. Uh, I think this one definitely can do uh, true HD with Atmos. Which one? This one that's on screen or the one you're talking about? This one, one right here. Know. Hold on. Let me, let me. I'm looking. Oh, up to... Do, 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 do. DTS. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know from what Scott was saying. Um, it, all these dunes have the RTD. Oh, actually, no, this Homedics one doesn't have the RTD processor. So... Oh, the if real Vision 4K that I that I bought is coming. It has the RTD. If you're wondering why we're kind of quiet, this is what I'm looking at currently. Uh, this, this is what I'm looking at. Look at look at all. I'm trying Whoa. to find what what it does specifically. Mm, so Dolby Digital, Dolby Digital Plus, Dolby Digital Plus with Atmos. So that's the lossy version. Dolby True HD, Dolby True HD with Atmos. Okay. Yep. And DTS. DTS, DTS HD, HRA, DTS HD, MA, DTS X. All formats can be decoded by the media player and output via HDMI as multi channel and compressed PCM. See, but up to 7.1. Uh, yeah, when the it following, comes to. Oh, here we go. Keep reading that, that the following formats can be output as bitstream Dolby Digital, Dolby Digital Plus, Dolby Digital Plus with Atmos, Dolby True HD, Dolby True HD with Atmos, DTS. Ah, yeah, maybe that's it. Notice what it's missing, right? It's not, it's not, it doesn't have this one. Okay. All right. So that's yeah. the tricky thing. Like you have to like really look into it. So it'll do all the lossless uh, Dolby True HD stuff, but not DTS HD and DTS X. As, and DTS X. As yes. Yeah. So, so that that's that's the one that you have. That's the one hundred fifty dollars. This one, no, no native Oro three D, which I don't really care, but. You won't get that. Whereas, like an Nvidia Shield will do all of them. Yeah. yeah. Or I mean, it looks like all the, the the other two dunes that I that I have will will do them as well. Yours will, I think. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, how much? How much that will? Uh, you know, how much I will actually care about that? Uh, probably not. The PD Except has you guys run into the hills. Making some stuff in Oro, so you know, for testing purposes, it, it matters. All right, if you would like to join us every week on Mondays at, what time is it? About 6 p.m. Central, which is the best time. That's where I am. Make sure you join us at youtube.com slash daily high five. We out. <laughs>